Hello, welcome back to Bandersis Live. In this episode, I'm gonna take a look at uh, Uchu Paint add-on from Uchu Umar. So basically, this add-on gives you the ability to manage layering, channels, and texturing inside Blender. So it comes with the Discord channel as well. If you want to ask questions, you can go there. It comes with documentations uh, for you to set it up. But I just uh, I actually read the documentation at least once, uh, but uh, the add-on itself is pretty in intuitive, so let's just use it. So normally, if you want to paint anything in Blender, you go to, this is like the default, right? Without Uchup Umar, without Uchup Paint add-on, uh, you have an object like this default cube, and then you want to paint, you go to texture paint, and when you want to start painting, it will say, okay, you have missing texture, please make texture first. So Indeed, you need to go to texture and then you add like base, color, or roughness, metallic. They are all separate channel. And yeah, you, and then you start painting with the default uh, base color and then you give it a color. This is as basic as you can, right? Uh, if you are doing painting. But with Uchup, um, Uchup Paint, you actually have a lot of um, extra additional functions. Let's say you have this texture paint and you want to you want to add like vertex paint or you want to have like procedural texture or you want to paint on different channel at the same time add masking it it can get really complicated so that's why we need uh, something like Uchu paint so let's uh, let's start with this default cube and Uchu paint once you install it it's uh, it's residing in this panel so by default, this object doesn't really have material or it has this default material. Just select the object and then quick Uchu Paint node setup. It will create everything for you. By default, it's going to use the color, metallic, roughness, normal. So just hit OK. So suddenly you are presented with this quite advanced uh, UI. Um, it's very intuitive really uh, pretty much similar to Photoshop if you start to add layers. Um, the first one you see is actually the material, the default material. Let's say you want to have the base color to be yellow color. Uh, let's switch to the material. So this is the base material. You can add metallic roughness, etc. Uh, let's say for now we just want to add a basic paint layer. You you go to this area here and create a new so we, what do you want to create first uh, you are presented with a lot of things right away uh, whether you want to use procedural texture or things like ambient occlusion cavity dust um, maybe you want to have like vertex color layer or just solid color the default one probably uh, what you want to use is new image so create a new image. Okay, what's the size of texture you want to apply into this 3D model? Just 1024 by 1024, just uh, say okay. So I'll just um, cover the basic, I guess. So we have this material layer, just the basic one, color, and we can start painting as usual. Okay, so we don't need to worry about many many things underneath so let this is one paint layer if you switch to different viewport you can see this is what you are painting so while you're painting it's actually have alpha as well that means you can you know you can switch on and off layer very easily you can add a new layer for example add a new image layer hit ok so we have another layer and let's try different color. So I'm just like doing an abstract painting at the moment. So currently, uh, keep in mind, we are only using color channel. We can actually have multiple material. Uh, we can have multiple channel like roughness, metalness, all handled by Uchu Paint add-on. So we have this material and we have this material. And you can turn it on, on and off. And I think the workflow is that you have like 
complex layering system with channel and once you're happy with it you can uh you can bake it all you can bake so i i haven't tried all of this but and then uh while you're doing that you can also see the stats here so we have two images that we haven't saved we have zero number of vertex color so we can add vertex color for example normally you can't do this uh as easily so like layering vertex color but now you can you can do that let's say i want to try something else uh, solid color let's say solid color i just add solid color and give it a color maybe pink so very strong color pink so we have pink color which is overlay here we can we can reorder this pink color so it's a solid color but we can mask we can introduce mask so let's say okay we need we can create a new mask or we can use uh generate procedurally generated mask over here let's say we we pick mask grave and then just hit okay so we sort of have like mask grave there it's very blurry this mask layers can can be modified on the fly so there is this control we can control the source dimensions scale of the mask grave the detail etc and i believe you can also you can introduce things like ramp ramp and curve let's try a ramp let's say we want to make this mask grave really really strong so so it's, yeah the control is actually hiding here so there's a lot of control you can try 3d is yeah you just leave it for now if you don't want this mask you can just simply here uh, you know just remove mask let's say uh so let's get back to the mask but let's add a uh, voronoi voronoi so we should have voronoi once again it's too weak at the moment so we go inside okay change so we have this voronoi cell f1 f2 the usual control um yeah let's save this for now save as uchup uh, default cube so that's with the mask and with the solid color right and we can still have control over the layering which is which is already seems pretty cool we can change the solid color just like you know just like photoshop and anytime uh, we can actually just bake where's the baking so solid color solid color channel mask this is the stats and try to find the bake yeah there's this bake all channels and then there's also save all channels somewhere i'm not gonna bake yet because i want to show you that we, there's also another one here open available image so if we import we already have image open inside blender we can use that image as a texture to start with or open images into a single layer i will show you this one so uh, I prepare something before I start. So we have this brick, normal, albedo, color, displacement, and roughness. I just re reload all of this using all multiple channel loaded into this default cube, right? And then it's loaded into multiple channel, color, roughness, normal. It doesn't have displacement or metallic, but that's okay for now. Uh, and I believe, you see here, this texture also we can we can control the vector and scale so i'm scaling it using the uv maybe eight times and uh, this so we get this procedural bricks i'll, I'll add a metalness and roughness i just adjust the overall material look okay now let's say I'm happy with this. Uh, where did I get this material? I'm actually used this 
Polycam, Polycam AI Texture Generator, right? So we have this material that we can use and we can just download. Uh, we can type anything, for example, abstract motif, batik, intricate details, animals, generate 3D texture. Just wait for a few seconds. So this is AI texture generator. It's going to create a PBR, PBR material for us, right? Like something like this. And it's give you four, for example. Okay, only this one seems to work. Okay, the second one also works. I like both. So I will just download and this one also download and let's check it out. So this is the texture that's being generated. Uchup, Uchup Paint actually like to have this material named differently, like to have like this as a suffix for PBR. So let's rename this very quickly. This one is a batik A with the suffix albedo and everything. So rename this as batik, batik B. So we have now proper naming. So we have this, this being layered. Uh, of course, okay, uh, it's, it's better if you have mask. So I will create a new image mask. Just hit okay. So if we go to paint and start painting, we, seen, we don't see much, there's a color changing. When we are painting mass, we should think in black and white. So I can paint the mask. So it's masking out. Uh, yeah, so you can mask out the area that you don't want, but you, you probably want to invert that, right? So in order to invert that, we can use this modifier, invert image. Oh, to use this feature, image editor should be open anywhere in the screen. So we open this image editor and then we just invert the mask. Okay. This is the mask and we just need to invert it. Yeah, now it's inverted. So we should see changes. There, you know. It's up to you whether you want to introduce the mask or just paint, paint this texture. But you can see it's become very easy to layer multiple texture, whether it's PBR, whether it's vertex, maybe vertex paint or like a normal solid color, right? So let's see what else. What else I want to talk about? Okay, the let's introduce one more uh, PBR layer. So open images into single layer. Go to downloads. I like the other one. Okay, just load this as PBR. Once again, we have this. This one has a nice normal. Yeah. Uh, let's use the UV control vector, scale this, scale this six times. So we have the, this batik motif that we can mask and color. So introduce, let's use, uh, let's use noise now, noise on the batik. So procedural noise is introduced as a as a mask. There. So noise being created. We can go into the noise and control the noise. So this one is quite complex, I think. We can blend in. Maybe with the noise, 
we can have a ramp there we go I think the bricks the bricks color is too strong or it's kind of multiplying with the previous texture I don't know I think at the moment it's it's already pretty complex <coughs> looking material so you know, if we have what happened if we apply the same material to Suzanne you can see you can see the procedural masking is still working let's say with Suzanne right if you want to introduce something that's fancy, we can actually introduce like uh, ambient occlusions. So just hit apply. It's going to add ambient occlusions based on this 3D model. Suzanne, and we can see uh, a texture that represents Suzanne. Uh, somehow this takes a while. Okay, so I think it does it does add ambient occlusions. See, as I turn on and off. Okay, it's actually adding it for Suzanne and the default cube. It's pretty pretty interesting. And we can control the amount of the strength of the ambient occlusions. So let's say let's say we are pretty happy with this right it's pretty complex kind of material and we have multiple layers etc just like substance paint we can now just bake all so to paint have this bake all channels let's use the cpu let's try how uh, okay we it's pretty fast seems to be already baked we can save all bake images into a folder I guess so file save as we should have created a folder so blend uchup uchup monkey uchup monkey this is the one so uchup pain so I saved the blend now I just need to save all bake images into this folder I guess I guess that should be right if I file export GLB, what's gonna happen if I use, if I want to send it as AR? Uh, we have everything here. Color, normal, just the basic, you know. Color, normal, roughness. Okay. We actually have both Suzanne and the, and the default cube, normal. Yeah, we got that. Normal reference, and maybe this one goes into metalness. It doesn't seem to bake the metalness. File, export, GLB, include only selected objects, and then data mesh, apply modifier, export GLB. So back to Reality Composer. Okay, we need to Okay, interesting. Material color. Material normal. Roughness. Metallic is missing. But we got Suzanne with a pretty complex material. Almost like if we are using Substance, Adobe Substance Designer. So we can test it with different environment. But you got the idea, right? Uchu Paint. Without Uchu Paint, it will be really hard to actually have multiple layering and channeling. But here, you see. The add-on give you ability to layer ambient occlusions, multiple 
procedural texture solid color whatever material you have and you know it's quite complex and then you can see the stats how many images and let's say with Suzanne right Suzanne uh, if we apply this subdivisions select object right click convert to mesh we want to add vertex paint we can also do that add new vertex color uh, hit OK so if we go to vertex paint or if we go to sculpt and start painting we can we can actually do that this is painting it on the vertex which is unlike anything else vertex is very interesting because you can sort of use it with sculpt so color paint so you can paint very very quickly and it's very fast and you can smooth it with while holding shift some sometimes people like to do this just to roughly paint without worrying about without worrying about the uv it's almost like uh yeah you, you're painting directly on the on the vertex and you have this quick ability just to right click and then select a color and then smooth it so people like that a lot so this is vertex paint you can you can blend like a watercolor so once you have this of course this is just another layer and you can use masking with this guy so gradient mask graph noise maybe a checker so checker applied into this guy so we have the checker pattern that we can control here the scale control the scale of checker so right this is cool right and you can quickly <coughs> you can quickly you can actually add modifier like invert and you know all kind of things so it's quite robust despite its simplicity the everything is so nice and so easy to understand intuitive so <coughs> so this is uchu paint you can have multiple material uh, each material have multiple channel so this is the default channel metalness roughness and you have layers and each layers can have also multiple channels and masking and this is the stats once again so that's basically what's uchu paint all about i just this is my first look at it if you if you want to use this for productions then feel free to try this yourself and see how this works as part of your workflow but i think if you're doing a lot of painting 3d painting i think uchu paint is just really really good and it's available for free in the past i've been using b painter actually um i think b painter might have been b painter it's becoming an app i believe for ipad uchu paint still available for you for free uh but from uchu umar so thanks uchu umar for this cool add-on i will i'll be using this i think as a replacement for uh substance painter or substance designer this is m more than enough for most 3d uh, artists if you want to use pbr and of course like i say i also mentioned about this polycam ar texture generator this is this is actually really powerful you have you have unlimited infinite possibilities to create procedural texture that you can use for 3d painting okay so yeah hopefully you find this useful thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye